Yeah, you probably think that's rubbish music. But uh, I'm not talking to you, my regular viewers, however many of you there are. I'm talking about the people who click off the video as soon as I start talking. You screw you as well, go and fuck off. Anyway, let's have a bit of light on the situation. Still too hot to have the old projector on, so... That's too much light for you. You don't deserve that much light. Even though I made my own bread. Breaking bread bad. No, I didn't go bad actually, even though the uh, yeast was two months out of date, but anyway. Never played Helter Skelter, never seen a screenshot. I quite like the music because um, it's very Vince Clark. But it's the kind of thing Vince Clark would knock up for like some, uh, you know, 30 second intro for a TV series. Alright, oh, okay, there we go. And he did actually do that. He did a tune for um, a rival to uh, BBC's uh, Kickstart, which I believe was on ITV. It's called uh, Track Tricks. And Tricks is spelt with an X on the end of X. And uh, ah, it's completely wiped from history. All you'll find is like a one and a half minute video on YouTube. And that only exists because it's one where Jonathan Ross, yes, the Jonathan Ross, who sounds like Kim Justice, is uh, doing his portion of the uh, trial. I had a dream about the uh, blonde uh, presenter who was on there. Sadly, I can't remember the dream. Actually, I do sort of remember it, but I can't remember remember it, as in I close my eyes and I see the dream again. The only dream from my teenage years I remember was uh, I was like fighting in World War II. Yeah, there was a lot of World War II movies on there. And uh, I somehow ended up in the middle of uh, like a lake somewhere in Europe that wasn't the UK. And I was uh, shot by one of the uh, soldiers and everything went red and then I woke up. And I was like, well, that's... apart from the bit where I woke up at the end, that's exactly like dying, I suppose. That's what I thought at the time. CRT glasses will be required. Okay, what have I got to do? Oh, you have to... So it's kind of like Cauldron 2, is it? Cauldron 2 mixed with lemmings. Who thought that would be a good idea? It's a full price game, I believe. How do I actually jump higher? Like that mad Commodore. So it's as infuriating to play. As infuriating to play as Cauldron 2. Oh, fuck it, yeah, maybe we can get on there from this side. Still working out the controls actually. So we're in filthy pirate mode. We've got this on disc. It's a bit tricky the controls. Yeah, I don't want a bonus. It's hard enough getting the fucking enemies on screen. So I mean to carry off a game like this. The graphics are not really nice enough. 
they kind of blend into each other, unlike bubble bubble. So, okay. Oh, shit. Right, see that line in the middle is uh, very difficult to see. So, it's like those eye tests with the uh, coloured bubbles you used to get when I was a kid. I want that, whatever kind of power up that is. Uh, bugger off, mate. Ah, oh, fuck off. Right, I don't like Helter Skelter. You can uh, print this, motherfucker. Bonus points for anyone who can remember what film that's one. He says, print this. Oh, no, actually, there's no need to bother. I think it's Fletch. And uh, he gives him the finger and he says, print this. I think. I'm not sure. Now, this light isn't helping me at all. But we can line up the camera. There are advantages, as Ben Kenobi never said. He said alternatives. Is there any water left in here? No! We've got the thermos with the ice cold water. Mustn't spill any. Because uh, we're using uh, a surprise tape testing. Well, it was live for me. And if I premiere it, it'd be kind of live for you. I ain't been on the computer. The room's been way too hot. And after a little bit of detective work, um, I've worked out the TV that was donated to me is about 11 or 12 years old. So even though it's an LCD with the crappy LCD picture of 12 years ago, even for a Samsung, uh, I'm still grateful for the telly, don't get me wrong. Very much appreciated, thank you for donating that. And... Uh, it gives off as much heat as my plasma. So, however, it doesn't get burning like the plasma. That's why it's uh, the monitor for Mad Commodore 2. The house is so large, there's no way I can get the aerial lead, which is on one corner of the house, to that bedroom anyway. The aerial point. Uh, where the uh, aerial wires come into the house and uh, where that TV is in that bedroom they're on the opposite side of the house so that would be about I'm going to say about 60, 55 foot apart that's a hell of a lot of coax cable to buy off eBay ding dong DPD calling not really because we don't deliver anything we just tell you, sorry we missed you while you were out. So we can make our daily rounds without getting a sack. Unrealistic daily rounds, probably. So I played that entire game with a cigarette, but I don't think it would have made much difference. don't have particularly fond memories of Cauldron 2 in fact I probably bought it, played it a few times and thought fuck off sorry loaded it a few times here we go So that was Audiogenic, so what else have Audiogenic done? I think the best thing about that was the music, I did really like that. So I've done that, Alice. Right, never played Ransack. There you go, I don't want the intro. I'm not really interested in uh, intros for games on the C64. It's too complicated to explain why. 
Am I interested in any intros? Actually, that's a good point. Not really uh, that fussed whether the intro on uh, Wrath of the Demon or Shadow of the Beast 2 actually loads. I get to see it or not. Mm. I think you'd probably have to move like right into the uh, modern consoles, which for me is a uh, 3DO Saturn PS1 onward. Well, I don't think the 3DO technically has any uh, polygon assistance. It's just the way. Hmm. Actually, I'm not sure. The, the 3DO is a very weird system. God damn it! Trainers. Uh, one. Let's go three. Maybe we can improve them and F7 to start again. So this is uh, 1987, I believe. Looking at those dodgy fonts. Ah, it's Wally Beben soundtrack. Who did uh, the music and sound for uh, Risk? Going on here. Ah, oh, fucking! You know, what are the odds that I get another bouncing game? Look, mate. If I went to play a bouncing game, I'd play uh, Whizball, which you pick up the power up, and it's no longer a rubbish bouncing game. How about anti gravity? That'd be a nice power up, mate. How about some super glue for the spring? So it's just four colours, and uh, if this is a full price game, that's rubbish. So there we go, there's that. So I'm trying to count the colours there red, white, brown, and a so mostly solid black background. That is a space game, I suppose. I think it's all the sprites are also pretty much exactly the same fucking three colours. So the total number of colours on screen. Probably about five or six, which with a little bit of trick programming, you can get the Atari 800 to do. The Atari 800 doesn't have color RAM. It has uh, the equivalent of 160 by 200 C64 mode. Yeah, it's not a great idea. And it's not a great bit of presentation, really. And it's probably coming out of crap on the camera. Can I pick them up? Well, who knows, mate. Do I care? Not really. A oh, rubbish four-colour game. That is literally a four-colour game. You could do that game with 1K of uh, screen memory and no sprite data. Would you want to? No, because it's a rubbish game. And uh, like I said, the presentation's rubbish as well. So I've gone off audiogenic. Uh, that's looking well blurry. It's looking good for me. Why is the camera not doing? Um, yeah.